Belgium. The country of waffles. Does their spirit match the sweetness of these delicious treats, or are they all just a bit cross? Belgium is definitely doing pretty well for itself in comparison to other nations in terms of satisfaction with life, experienced health, generalized trust, contact with friends and family, dead by suicide. Uh oh, that doesn't seem right. We will look into that later. For now, Belgium is on a good track to complete the 2015 UN Sustainable Development Goals for Health and Wellbeing by 2030. For itself, that is. Thanks to being a developed country, it has a very good healthcare system and the objectives that will likely not be met in time will miss the marks by a few units at most. This can, however, not be said about some of the other SDGs that might influence general well-being, namely ending poverty, gender equality and quality education. Some other specific indicators like poor housing conditions and rising long-term disability might also need some work. In this video, we want to especially focus on depression, since we feel that there is one big misconception. Lots of people seem to believe that depression is something that is purely happening inside people's heads, and that in order to prevent it, we should mainly focus on things like reducing stress, or cutting back on social media, or building strong relationships. Which is true, of course. But these statistics show that depression remains fundamentally influenced by external factors related to those other SDGs. If you are born in the lowest quintile, have a lower level of education, or if you simply are a woman, your chances of getting depression usually double. We think that if Belgium wants to reduce its outrageously high suicide rate, it will have to put extra pressure on reaching these SDGs as well, so that the living conditions and subsequently the well-being of the Belgians will improve. Otherwise, no more waffles.